we mourn with the family, we mourn with the security agencies, and we mourn because we feel the painful demise of our brother. Today, as we send him to his grave, it is important for us to realize that the family is still alive. And given that the family is alive, we must take responsibility for the family. The state has made a pledge of uh, um, 500,000 Ghana cities. It is not money the family will need now. It is where to lay the heads of the children and the wife. So I suggest that a portion of that amount should be used to cater for accommodation for the family whilst we look at ways of sustaining the growth of the children. And let us all commit that this incident has brought to the fore the state of lawlessness in our nation. And we will take every step to ensure that it is nipped in the bud. Even as we caution communities not to take the law into their hands, it is important to alert the security agencies and the judiciary that there are delays and inactions and sometimes deliberate release of criminals is the reason for which society doesn't have confidence in our institutions. We hope that the police will live up to its responsibility so that we can manage this situation. Let me join calls that we should do everything possible to insulate our security agencies from political and partisan appointments so that we can have IGP and CDS all based on tenor of office and not on political merit. There is no doubt about it. He died a painful death. He died in the course of duty. He had option to kill many even before he could die. He decided for love of country and for love of human life not to use a gun that he has. There cannot be more commitment to a people's safety than what Major has done and it is important to immortalize his memory.